Steamboat geyser erupts in Yellowstone National Park. The world's tallest geyser erupted on Monday, October 7, 2024, for the first time in months. The geyser reportedly began erupting shortly after 8.30 a.m. MTN's Jill Valley was lucky enough to witness the eruption firsthand and capture the eruption. Jill said the geyser erupted with a powerful, loud roar, and it was Steamboat Geyser's first eruption since July 15, 2024. Geyser watchers and Lucky Park visitors were thrilled by Steamboat's spectacular eruption. The geyser can shoot water, steam, mud, and rocks 300 feet or more into the air. In Yellowstone National Park's recorded history, only two other geysers have been larger than Steamboat Geyser. Excelsior Geyser in the Midway Geyser Basin and Sapphire Pool in the Biscuit Basin. Steamboat Geyser in Yellowstone National Park has not had a major eruption in more than two months. It was the longest time between eruptions since March 2018. For three and a half years, dedicated geyser watchers have been hooked on Steamboat's spectacular eruptions. Steamboat Geyser had a major eruption, said Dr. Mike Poland, the scientist in charge of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. It was the first in 65 days. The geyser has erupted, on average, every 5 to 10 days since it resumed activity in March 2018. That's one aspect of geysers, Pullen said. Most of them are really unpredictable, so you have to enjoy them while you can. Steamboat has had a long heyday. The volcano erupted 32 times in 2018, 48 times in 2019 and 48 more in 2020, including one major eruption that year that was estimated to be 355 feet high. But so far this year, Steamboat has had only 14 major eruptions. Poland acknowledged that scientists are baffled. There's no clear indication of what's different now compared to five years ago or a century ago. Steamboat was dormant for 50 years, from 1911 to 1961. One thing we do know is that it has something to do with the plumbing system beneath the surface, the geyser's conduit. Whether it's narrowed or more open. And that's something that's very hard to understand because we can't see down there. Poland said. But he has a hunch. I still feel like the availability of water has something to do with it. The high groundwater levels, because the last few years have had more rainfall and snowfall than in recent years, Mike Pullen said. Poland also told Mountain News that if Steamboat is truly dormant, it would create an opportunity for scientists who would be able to compare the vast amount of data they've collected over the last three years of eruptions with what they saw when the geyser wasn't erupting. We don't know if there are precursors to some of these regular geysers and it would be great if we could identify some precursors and that's something we could look for in the future," Poland said. Mike Poland said he's not ready to say the geyser is going to go dormant, and probably won't know for sure until it does. Geyser watchers continue to flock to the Norris Geyser Basin where Steamboat is located as they have for the past three and a half years. With all the added traffic, the Park Service has created more parking along Grand Loop Road. The park has also rerouted traffic in the Norris parking lot to keep vehicles moving. If Steamboat goes dormant, it's hard to say if that will reduce traffic.
However, Norris has always been a popular spot and is home to the most seismically active geyser basin. So even if the big geyser doesn't erupt, there's a good chance the area will still be a major tourist attraction.